In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure voltage with MioDAC and FlexLogger Lite by going over some of the common settings like speed, input range, uh, configuration, and scaling. So let's start with my setup. I've got MioDAC already connected over USB to my laptop. I've got all my software installed and FlexLogger Lite open. Um, I've also grounded the chassis, so it's down to a lug and earth ground. Um, and then for my sources for voltage, I have a function generator next to me that I've wired up to MioDAC already. It's in channel zero. Um, I have a simple battery wired into channel one. And then the last thing I thought I'd do is a, a loop back. So I was going to generate a signal with MioDAC and measure it with MioDAC. So you kind of get the full gambit of what it can do. Um, all right, so let's start with the function generator. And to configure a channel, I'm on the analog input, click on the gear, and I'm going to name this FGen. This is a voltage measurement. And for the, I don't need scaling, just one to one is fine. For the hardware range, this is how you select the ranges of MioDAC. Uh, it's a simple pull down. This particular model goes from 0.2, uh, plus or minus 0.2 to plus or minus 10. So I'm going to leave that as 10. Uh, this is a differential measurement. Uh, because I'm measuring between the two pins, so you can see I have the red and the black, each wired into the plus and the minus, wired into two different analog pins. Um, for more information on that, there's a really good white paper called Field Wiring and Noise Considerations for Analog Signals. Google that, maybe add ni.com into the Google search and come up with that white paper, and it'll give you a lot of uh, good recommendations about wiring, configurations, and, and grounding even. Uh, so if I go back to my system, OK, I'm set up for the function generator, plus or minus 10 volts, differential measurement. That's good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I've got the battery connected. The battery is actually going to use the exact same thing. And since it uses the same, same settings, I'm going to copy, right click, copy, and then right click, paste. And now I've got the same channel configuration moved down to channel 1, except I'm going to call this bat. Uh, and then for the. Let's go ahead and wire up the loop back while I'm here. For this one, I'm going to wire into the AO side of MioDAC, so AO0. Uh, and you may have noticed I've got these wires already crimped with ferrules, which makes it really easy to just connect it to MioDAC. And I'm going to like this. There we go. OK, so analog output 0 to Analog input number two. OK, so I've got function gen, bat, and then let's configure the last channel. Uh, this is a one wire measurement, so it's a slightly different configuration. I'm going to call it loop. And this is also going to be voltage. But this one is going to be reference, because I'm referencing it to uh, the chassis ground, because that's how the analog output is, is wired. So it references it to chassis ground. Everything else is the same. OK, so I've covered input ranges, covered measurement configurations. We've got a few different kinds of sources hooked up. Um, the last thing, and very important, is the sample rate. So in, in MioDAC and FlexLogger Lite, you're going to sample all your analog input channels at the same rate. And the configuration is on this menu right here in FlexLogger Lite. So I can use a pull down and, and select slow, medium, or fast. These are configurable. So I actually want to sample much faster than one kilohertz. I have three channels. This particular MioDAC measures up to 250,000 samples per second. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 50 kilohertz for my fast rate. And now all of these channels are going to sample at the same rate, 50,000 samples per second, as indicated by this pull down. Let's flip over and build a quick user interface for this. I'm going to put them on separate graphs. So here's a high-speed graph for my function generator. Uh, here's a high-speed graph for my loop back. There we go. And then I want to do just a simple indicator. Oh, I'll use a tank for my battery. There's the battery. Oh, and it's conveniently already at 10. OK, so let's. I'm going to do a little cleanup. I like, let's do green. Let's make this one extra thick. And then let's zoom in. And then for, we'll do the same thing. 
do the same thing, except I'm going to make this one blue. And I'm going to make my wire thicker, or my line thicker. And then if I click on the x-axis, that's how I pull up the variable length. So I can do that. OK, so now I'm going to turn on my function generator. Oh, it already is on. Get my function generator going. 0 0.01. There we go. There's a nice waveform from my function generator. And I can even can change that to a square wave, or I can change it back to a sine wave. All good. And then on the LabVIEW side, I've already pre-programmed just a simple LabVIEW function generator. And so I can turn that on. And I can modulate that amplitude as well. All right, so last thing to point out there, I am running a LabVIEW program talking to the analog output of MioDAC and looping that back and doing an analog input in FlexLogger Lite. So each timing engine can operate independently. Uh, so we've got a nice clean waveform coming out of the signal generator, got a nice clean waveform coming in my loopback, and then I've got a nice simple 9-volt battery measurement. And that's how you measure voltage with MioDAC and FlexLogger Lite.